fan keeps busy Turning round above our heads Throwing shadows on the bed Bits of passion fruit Like I'm a hungry little kid All the juice is running down We're lovers in the moonlight In this enchanted town Hi, my name is Robert Linder. I'm your uh, gemologist on this cruise. And uh, tonight we're just going to show you a little preview of what we're going to be having in the, uh, in the uh, ship shop uh, for the next few days. And we hope uh, you'll be able to come down and visit us. Uh, I'm starting out with some, a very heavy, beautiful piece of Tasco silver. This is uh, solid silver. These are not... Uh, hollow uh, hollow hammered uh, pieces and this is a piece that was made uh, in uh, in Mexico uh, one of our uh, one of our stops on uh, future cruises and past cruises uh, a, a beautiful heavy solid uh, uh, sterling silver uh, necklace uh, runs about fifteen hundred dollars <coughs> I've been a gem dealer for 30 uh, 30 years the, uh, uh, Every major jewelry store in the United States and every major jewelry store in, uh, in Europe. And uh, I deal in only quality jewelry. Um, the reason I'm on this ship is because the goods that they, they being uh, the concessionaires given me to sell, are only of the finest quality with a 30-day money-back guarantee and uh, complete assurance that... Uh, Everything is of the uh, finest, uh, finest quality. This is an amazing piece of silver. This is a beautiful silver cup in, uh, in uh, opal and hammered silver. Uh, you can find it in the, uh, in the shop later, uh, uh, later in the cruise. A piece like this, $600. We're also going to be featuring tanzanite. You might have heard about tanzanite over the last few years. People say it's becoming extinct. It's found only in one valley called the Arusha Valley in the shadow of Mount Kilimanjaro. And uh, uh, it, 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 the valley runs five miles uh, long by three miles wide. It was discovered in 1965 by a, a gentleman named uh, Colin Bridges. He was a gemologist hired by Tiffany to discover a new source of sapphire and they sent him to Africa and he uh, he went to Africa and he was looking for another beautiful blue blue stone couldn't find anything and then they were caught in a rainstorm uh, they pitched their tents the rain poured down for three days they couldn't get out of their tents the lightning came flashing down on the uh, on the ground they came out of their tents they discovered these beautiful rich royal blue stones the and, uh, uh, the, the feature of the, the the stones was that they were uh, the most amazing uh, color royal blue but they were also tricolor trichroic uh, in other words if you turn them in one direction you see red if you turn them in another direction you see purple if you turn them in a third direction you see a royal blue uh, these stones were sent to the Gublin laboratories in Switzerland and they called them zoocyte uh, and they were sent on to Tiffany who had commissioned the uh, gentleman uh, to Tiffany's marketing department they said well, zoocyte we can't call it zoocyte we gotta and they said well where was it found and they said well Tanzania so we'll, let's call it Tanzanite this was in 1965 and since then this small valley has produced the best quality, gem quality, uh, zoocyte, a.k.a. tanzanite in the world. We have some amazing gem quality pieces, pieces that you won't see in any jewelry store, uh, uh, any place else, uh, set in 18 karat gold with diamonds, and uh, we'll be featuring some amazing pieces in our shop. Uh, finally, I want to talk about a product called <coughs> Zultanite. Zultanite is what is known as a phenomenal stone. Zultanite as Alexandrite is known as a phenomenal stone. Alexandrite goes from a red to a green depending on the light. 
You take it outside, it shows red. You take it inside under fluorescent light, it shows green. Uh, like alexandrite, which has become extremely rare and extremely precious, zoltanite, which is found in one mine in the north of Turkey uh, at 4,000 feet, and is, one, is produced by one mine, one village actually uh, produces it, um, is, a, uh, is a stone that turns from kiwi green to raspberry yellow, depending on the light that, uh, that, that goes on it. And is almost a, how do you say, the next up and coming Alexandrite. And I would be very happy to show you in the shop under fluorescent lights in the shop and then take you outside onto the deck where you can see uh, how the stone uh, changes color. These are mounted in 14 and 18 karat gold. Um, they're beautiful stones, amazing color, amazing transformation. They're a major, major hit with uh, Hollywood actresses on the red carpet. Uh, Angelina Jolie has been uh, featured wearing one. Uh, um, and we're very proud to have them in our collection at the, uh, at the shop. So please, I uh, ask you to come down and uh, visit me and Darina. Uh, we'll be managing the shop for the next few days. And uh, we'd be very happy to uh, show, you the, uh, show you the pieces and also educate you a little bit if you want to get into uh, emeralds and rubies and sapphires or if you want to bring in some of your jewelry and have me uh, uh, give you a verbal appraisal. I won't give you... Uh, uh, dollar amounts, but I'd be very happy to tell you what it is. Um, take advantage of us. We're here to educate you and to uh, to enlighten you and make this cruise the most interesting and beneficial experience you've ever had. Thank you.
mind keeps busy Turning round above our heads Throwing shadows on the bed Bits of passion fruit Like I'm a hungry little kid All the juices running down We're lovers in the moonlight In this enchanted Hello ladies and gentlemen My name is Robert Linder I've been a gem dealer for 30 years and uh, I'm the gem dealer and jeweler on this cruise for the next few days. The other day we talked a little bit about the stones that we had in the, uh, uh, in the shop and today I want to give you a, uh, a little bit of a crash course in buying and, and dealing in precious stones and uh, also to talk a little bit about uh, the, the very uh, beautiful pieces we have in the shop. In gem dealing, uh, there are basically three instruments of the, uh, of the trade. A loop, a pair of tweezers, and a little chamois to wipe the fingerprints and smudges off the, uh, uh, off the stones. If you don't know how to use a loop, I'd like to just give you a minute to, uh, to uh, teach you. You put your finger, it opens like this. You put your finger through the middle ring, and you crook your thumb and bring your thumb up to your cheek uh, with your right hand. You keep both eyes open and you're looking through, this is a 10 power magnifying glass basically, it fits in your pocket or your purse. You crook your finger in so the optics are one inch from your eyeball. And then you bring the piece of jewelry either on the stand or loose ring uh, that the jeweler, uh, whatever you're looking at, you bring it up, 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 both eyes open until it comes into focus and all of a sudden it's remarkable all of us all of a sudden you see inside the stone you see every characteristic inside every flaw every feather every inclusion every bit of pyrite every black spot and you can bring it right up you see how the uh, the prongs are holding the stone in place you see the polishing the quality of the polishing for the diamonds, you see the quality of the diamonds, and you move it around, you look at it like you're, uh, like you're uh, examining a precious jewel. And you're, you're looking uh, at different angles to, uh, to see the, uh, the saturation of color and the faceting, the quality of the facets in the piece. So if you do to go to a jewelry shop, ask them to give you not just the ring that you want to look at, but a loop, and they'll be impressed with that. Bring the loop to your eye, Move the, uh, move the ring up to the, uh, up to the loop, and you'll see a whole new world of, of beauty. <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to say is that um, when you go into a jewelry shop, people have asked me a couple of times on the cruise, what do we look for? We're going diamond shopping. What do we, how do we start? We're interested in tanzanite, or we might want to see an emerald. I always tell them, if you go into a shop, Ask for the best piece they have. Ask for the most expensive piece they have and start with that. And they'll put it in front of you and it's five or 10 or 15 or $20,000. Let them put it on the cloth or on the mat in front of you and ask, why is this this price? What makes it so rare, so special, so expensive? And he'll explain all the best qualities of that particular stone, whether it's a diamond or a ruby or an emerald or a sapphire or or pearls or, uh, or opal. He'll tell you why it's the finest and he'll explain to you what the features are that you're looking for. What I'm trying to impart to you is, uh, is how to really look at jewelry through a jeweler's eyes. And you let them explain to you. Let them talk and tell you what are the finer, finer features. And then if the price is exorbitant or way out of your range, then you work your way down. But you start with the best piece of jewelry and work your way down to the lower uh, lower prices and lower price ranges until you find something that you're comfortable with. Uh, but let the jeweler work for you and let him explain. Not just put a ring on your finger and say, look, madame, how beautiful. No, let him tell you why it's cut that way, why, uh, uh, why he treasures it the most of all the jewels in his, uh, in his showcase. I wanted to show you how we uh, work with uh, loose stones. On the ship we have a, uh, what's called a phenomenal stone. By phenomenal, it changes colors from raspberry to, to uh, I'll show you with the, our light. This is a piece of zultanite. 
Zoltanite is mined in one mine outside of Bodrum in northern, northern northwestern uh, Turkey. Um, it is a really unique stone in that most colored stones have some sort of treatment. Emeralds are oiled, ruby and sapphire are heated, aquamarine is heated. Uh, Zoltanite comes out of the mine, at this particular mine, in a perfect condition, perfectly clean. And there is no enhancement that goes into Zoltanite. It's not coated, it's not heated, it's not treated, it's not irradiated as blue topaz is. It's a naturally occurring perfect stone from this one particular mine. And we're privileged to have it on, uh, on, the, uh, on the ship. I'll just give you a little demonstration if the lights work. This is how it looks in uh, the daylight. And this is a, uh, a, a reddish, pinkish reddish color. You're seeing flashes of purple in it also. We'll go to fluorescent. And now you're seeing a much richer green, more lime green color. So it's going from a raspberry to a lime green. And then in mixed light, in mixed light you'll see flashes of uh, different, uh, uh, of both colors. Uh, earth tones, coppers, chocolate, um, very much in, uh, in vogue in today's, uh, in today's fashions. But this is a, uh, a really exceptional gem gem quality piece of zoltanite. We also have some wonderful tanzanite on board. And this is not your average tanzanite. This is really beautiful, intensely saturated, wonderfully cut, set in 18 karat gold with diamonds. Um, uh, we have smaller pieces. We have some beautiful pendants. We also have some uh, necklaces. Uh, but uh, very, very fine quality tanzanite, which is found in the Arusha Valley in, uh, in, uh, in the shadow of Mount Kilimanjaro. This is in uh, East Africa. And um, we're going to be featuring both these stones together with some wonderful silver jewelry that we brought from uh, Mexico. This is very heavy, wonderful uh, Tasco, Tasco jewelry from Mexico. Uh, we'll be featuring that. We also have something called uh, Laramar, which they call the, the jewel of the, uh, of the Caribbean. And this is mined in uh, one mine in um, uh, Dominican Republic. And it has a very soft turquoise blue uh, look to it with the sea foam uh, white quartz uh, background. It's very, very interesting. Um, another piece, some pieces that we have in the shop that I, I really get a kick out of are slices of emerald crystal, natural emerald, natural occurring emerald crystal in the matrix, in the quartz quartz and uh, mica matrix, and these are sliced very thin and mounted into silver, both in earrings, pendants, and we have uh, several rings. Um, I've been in the jewelry business for 30 years. I had a company in New York for 30 years. It was called Lindo Gems, and we were uh, opposite the Waldorf Astoria. I have retired about four years ago, and now I'm uh, occasionally working with companies that I've worked with in the past who have asked me to go on cruise ships and uh, work with their jewelry. And, uh, the company, the company that I'm working with today only deals in the top quality, uh, uh, top quality gemstones, uh, top quality uh, uh, fabrication. Uh, their workshop is in New York City. Uh, we stand by everything. And uh, they've given me the privilege of making a special offer on the ship. Uh, the Tanzanite and uh, Zoltanite jewelry are marked down 20%. So we're taking 20% off that and 10% off the silver. Uh, off the silver jewelry that you'll see in the shop. So I urge you to come down, take a look at what we have, and uh, it would be uh, great explaining to you uh, the use of a loop, how to approach buying jewels, and getting to know you better. Thank you.